Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. Really good. <laughs> what in the blue f is happening right now? Is that little guy trying to ruin the Oscars? Is he trying to ruin our night? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I think they made a mistake. Do I need to use my incredible powers to help or destroy so much conflict? Dwayne The Rock Johnson has also gone ahead to react to Will Smith's actions on the Oscar night. Much like other celebrities, The Rock's responded negatively when it came to Will Smith's slap on Chris Rock. Since then, social media has entered somewhat of a frenzy as users gather to discuss the implications of what went down. Meanwhile, more celebrities continue to gather to discuss the situation. So what did the ever-famous Rock have to say about this? Let's find out in this video. While some celebrities decided to post their opinion after the event had happened, many of them were present during that time, and their expressions and reactions had gotten caught on camera. We've already had four days since Slapgate, the key Oscars moment when Will Smith stormed the stage and slapped presenter Chris Rock for making a joke about his wife Jada Pinkett Smith, if you're blissfully unaware. Since then, the debate has raged on, and few celebrities have been able to stay away from commenting on the situation. The reactions of celebrities to the Chris Rock Will Smith slapped are ranked from greatest to worst below. Yeah. Nice. Lupita Nyong'o was one of the celebrities that gave out quite the reaction. However, as we continue to move down the list, the expressions and responses get more extreme. Nobody could have conveyed the horror of the event better than Nyong'o who was sitting next to Smith and was recorded on video open-mouthed in surprise as the slap happened. Exactly the same. Tiffany Haddish is number two on the list. Haddish was there to see the slap as an Oscars presenter and her reaction was one of admiration rather than outrage. She spoke on the significance of women's protection and support on Monday. Okay, what did First you of all, I seen a man stand up for his wife, okay. which we don't see that much anymore. Mm -hmm. That made me have hope. Haddish told People Magazine in the aftermath. As a woman who has been unprotected, for someone to say, keep my wife's name out your mouth, leave my wife alone, that's what your husband is supposed to do, right? Protect you. Okay. Next up is Lakeith Stanfield. I don't know, it was, it was crazy. I don't know, it was surreal. A little surreal moment. Stanfield said during a red carpet interview at the Vanity Fair Oscar party regarding the smack. It was bizarre. His refusal to fabricate indignation or approbation on the spot is admirable. And surreal appears to be the best term to characterize the occurrence and the evening in general. Daniel Radcliffe is number four on this list. Radcliffe declined to comment on the slap during an interview on a British morning program on Thursday, saying, I'm just so already dramatically bored of hearing people's opinions about it that I just don't want to be another opinion adding to it. <laughs> um, so I... You don't even want to hear yourself have no. an op opinion. No, oh, no. Please, more of this vigor. Then we also have Amy Schumer and Judd Apatow. While Schumer, a co-host of Sunday's event, behaved nicely in the immediate aftermath of the slap, her later reaction was underwhelming to say the least. Um... <laughs> The incident shocked and horrified Schumer, she said on Instagram. Observing the slap in real time must have been distressing, but Schumer's statements arguably fall into a long tradition of white women exaggerating injury and putting ourselves in the center of events that don't genuinely involve us. In the case of Judd Apatow, they ended up deleting their tweet afterward. Apatow chastised Smith's actions in a now-deleted tweet, claiming that the actor could have murdered Rock, which is difficult to comprehend. Smith's actions were obviously worrisome, but I'm quite sure open-hand slaps have a low death rate. And whether Apatow intended it or not, his description of Smith's pure out-of-control wrath and violence plays into some unpleasant and long-standing preconceptions about black males. The slap was heard around the world. Will Smith stunned the star-studded audience and everyone watching at home. By storming the stage and slapping Chris Rock in the face after the comedian made a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith's hair loss at the 2022 Academy Awards on Sunday, March 27th. Let's have a quick look at how things really went down that day. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. The comedian shouted from the stage, alluding to the actress's buzzed hairdo, as G.I. Jane star Demi Moore rocked a similar haircut. For those that aren't up to date, Pinkett Smith, who is 50 years old, has long been outspoken about her alopecia. As the camera shifted to the Smiths, the 53-year-old star of King Richard, who went on to win an Oscar for Best Actor, 
appeared to laugh at Rock's joke, while Pinkett Smith rolled her eyes furiously. Though it appeared like Smith was amused by the joke at first, he quickly walked on stage and struck the 57-year-old Longest Yard actor across the face. When he got back into his seat, he remarked, Keep my wife's name out your mouth! Before returning to give the prize for Outstanding Documentary, Rock addressed the crowd. The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air actor, for his part, addressed and apologized for the incident in his acceptance speech for King Richard. Following the slapping incident, the words that came out of Will Smith's mouth during his acceptance speech also weren't very well received by the audience. Instead of apologizing to Chris Rock for hitting him in front of the world, Will Smith had decided to defend his actions by acting righteously. This was not taken well by most of the world. Oh man, Richard Williams was a fierce defender of his family, Smith said, linking his behavior to that of Serena and Venus Williams' father, the role he played in the film. I'm being called on in my life to love people and to protect people, and to be a river to my people. I know to do what we do, you got to be able to take abuse. You got to be able to have people talk crazy about you. In this business, you got to be able to have people disrespecting you. And you got to smile. You got to pretend like that's okay. The Seven Pounds actor also expressed regret for his actions to a number of individuals, albeit not specifically to Rock. I want to apologize to the Academy. I want to apologize to all my fellow nominees. He added, Art imitates life. I look like the crazy father, just like they said about Richard Williams. But love will make you do crazy things. This is also something that bothered the audience and people that were already rallying behind Chris Rock at this point. According to them, if there was anyone that deserved Will Smith's apology, it was Chris Rock. The rest of it was only secondary. However, later on, Will Smith did manage to apologize directly to Rock as well. This was done through a long statement on his Instagram. I would like to publicly apologize to you, Chris, Smith wrote via Instagram on March 28th. I was out of line and I was wrong. I am embarrassed and my actions are not indicative of the man I want to be. There is no place for violence in a world of love and kindness. Even though Will Smith apologized to both the host and the school, the occasion was much too important to be overlooked. Because it occurred on the stage of the Oscars, all of Hollywood's superstars were bound to express their thoughts on the subject. While some appeared to be unusually nice to Will following the event, others denounced him in toned-down terms for punching a co-worker. From Rock's funny to Smith's smack, stars in attendance and watching at home had a lot to say about the drama. I just sat down because I was like, um, I gotta put that drink down. Because the tennis star, whose father, Richard Williams, was depicted by Smith and King Richard, said via a since-deleted Instagram story. I think that Will was immature, I think he was childish, and I think he was violent. Sonny Hostin said on the show, Whoopi Goldberg, an Academy governor, weighed in on the idea of the Academy taking away his Oscar. Well, there will be consequences, television. I'm sure, but I don't think yeah. that that's what they'll well, be, apparently particularly because Chris said, listen, I'm not, I'm yeah. not pressing any right. charges. That is also correct. Chris Rock also declared, much to the surprise of many, that he will not seek charges against Smith for the smack. The Los Angeles Police Department said in a statement that its investigative entities are aware of an incident between two individuals during the Academy Awards program. The incident involved one individual slapping another. The individual involved has declined to file a police report. If the involved party desires a police report at a later date, LAPD will be available to complete an investigative report. Meanwhile, Twitter continued to react to the Will Smith incident in a funny manner. While some praised Smith for the slap, others criticized him. However, most of the people poked fun at Will Smith for other reasons besides the slap. Jamila Jamil, another celebrity, appeared to be on Will Smith's side, though. Will Smith said, Not today, the Good Place alum shared via Twitter alongside a Malcolm X quote. A man big enough to absolutely floor him slapped him softly enough that Chris barely moved because he made fun of his wife's alopecia on a world stage. Don't say hashtag protect black women for two years and then only condemn Will here. Come on. Well, that is all from this one. Do share your thoughts in the comments below.